just consider our education policy was decided in 1986 and from there there was no change made in our education policy today if you look at 1986 there was no internet there was no artificial intelligence the entire ethos the entire systems the entire methodology and the entire technology which we have today was not available in 1986 so prime minister understood that the education system or the education policy which we adopted in 1986 has become obsolete this education policy can no more transform our youth into human resource and that is why a new education policy has been brought in place this new education policy increases the spending on education by threefold it is from around 2% of the gdp it goes up to 6% of the gdp so the spending on the education is increasing on one hand and on the other hand our basic education was from year 6 to year 14 now it will be from year 3 so the toddlers will also be now part of our system from year 3 to age 18 this entire basic education system will cater to you and what it essentially does it actually gives impetus first to the languages all of us know that after britishers went away we transformed our entire education system into english english is a international language no offense with english but the problem is that the cognitive thinking of any human being is better in their mother tongue we are the people english is a foreign language for us many times we think in our language you think in kannada and then translate it into english i think in marathi and i translate it into english so there is a gap so what prime minister modi ji did with this nep is to create the entire curriculum in the local language and i am very happy that the government of karnataka was the first government who implemented nep nep was first implemented in karnataka and for the first time the engineering as well as medical education was started it, it is now given in the kannada language see japan is best in electronics their entire education system is in japanese language germany is best in engineers their entire uh, education system in deutsch that is german language koreans are now emerging in uh, all electronics their entire education system is in uh, uh, korean language china for that matter has emerged as factory of world their entire education system is in chinese language if all these countries could progress imparting education in their own language then why can't india do that in fact it is more scientific for a nation to allow its students to study in their mother tongue because it is the mother tongue which actually allows us to understand the basics many times when we study in english i've seen many students they are the best they earn lot of marks but they don't know the basics it is only you know they by heart they learn all those chapters and they write those chapters or they write those things in the answer sheet and get good marks so they may be informed but they are not knowledgeable 
we have to create a human resource which is not just informed it has to be knowledgeable and that is why this new education system is now allowing us also to study in our languages secondly our entire system was watertight there was art stream there was commerce stream there was science stream after science stream there was vocational where engineering after science stream and and medical so if we look at our education system it was in such a watertight compartment and today if you look at the exposure to the students students have exposure of everything so tomorrow if i want to study physics but at the same time i am good in fine arts i'll either have to choose physics or i'll have to choose fine arts i cannot do both the things simultaneously but you can do it now now in the new education policy if i am a good painter and at the same time i want to do biology i want to do physics i want to do chemistry i want to become a doctor i can do both the things at the same time so the flexibility this water tight compartments between the streams of education have been broken now and a person with his ability and with his interest can actually choose the number of subjects or type of subjects they want to choose and i think that is opening doors to one's interest many time we find people who are pursuing a degree for the sake of degree actually they have different interests they don't have interest in that stream so now whatever dreams you have those dreams can be fulfilled through this new education policy and this new education policy also gives you credit so there are times because now in the new education policies uh, the degree course will be four years course but somebody does one year and has to opt out there are times because of family constraints because of certain other reasons people have to go out then also they will get a certificate and they will get a credit so whenever in future they want to come back and do something based on that certificate they will be able to do it if they do it for second year they will get a diploma so two years of study will give you diploma it is it will not be a case that i could study for two years and then i could not study and i have nothing to do it will not be a case and also this entire you know process is now skill based it has it has made skill based so now you are not studying you know mere static things but applied things the things which are really useful in your life to give you jobs so this entire new education policy will change the way we used to create our human resource and this human resource will not only benefit india but it will benefit the entire world